Alright, so this video is going to be sort of a, I guess just summary before I show the rest of the footage of my adventure in trying to make sort of a pulse jet. Um, well, actually trying to make a pulse jet. Uh, so basically I was screwing around just because I'm a bit of a pyro. Uh, which is like an, an old like can of like invisible glass, cut the end off, whatnot. And I noticed that it felt like it was giving thrust. And I looked it up and I saw that I was basically making a pulse jet by running an air compressor into it. Uh, and then so I just I figured I would just try to make one not looking into it research wise at all. Uh, so I just saw like a cross section, you have a larger chamber. Then it narrows down for the exhaust, and then people generally loop it around 180 degrees for the intake. Uh, or, like, straight like this. I guess sometimes they run just straight like this, but generally that's if you're going to have air coming in when it's actually, like, in motion. Uh, and basically, I guess they're the most simple form of internal combustion engine. And... Uh... Yeah, so I got this one working, except not on its own. So basically, um, this works except that when you take it off a of compressed air, it will stop running. And I don't know if that's because my combustion chamber size compared to my exhaust and intake size is too small. I, I mean, this feels like it might be a bit large for the internal diameter of this, which is basically a one-inch copper male-to-male -male coupler. Female-to-female -female coupler? It's a copper coupler down to, like, two things that size down to half-inch. So maybe that's part of it. Um, but to do this, I picked up a Burns Omed TS-8000 torch. I tried brazing with, like, brass flux-coated sticks. They didn't work. The Burns Armatic TC3 or PC3 little sticks, while expensive, did work to braze this. And for fuel, I actually again picked up a Burns Armatic thing, a WHO 159 hose. And it's just a extension hose. And then I actually have a couple of like lawnmower, weed whacker, carb fuel things that actually fit together without the tape. And they just fit right into there. So you just take a uh, Schrader valve tool, knock off the Schrader valve from there, and then you can get a nice high flow from the propane tank out of this. So that was the fuel source. I have my little uh, tube basically just coming in at like an angle and then firing straight so the gas fills up this area pretty nicely and yeah I mean as long as you have compressed air coming in and I've tried with like 180 degree intakes and stuff and whatnot and, and you'll see from the video as long as you have compressed air going in this actually runs um, so it actually, it runs quite well. It's it's a lot throatier than I thought it would be. I was expecting it to be a lot higher pitched, but it's actually nice and throaty. It sounds pretty nice. Um, but that might be because, I mean, this is too big. I don't know. They seem to generally be quite high pitched, but maybe that's the videos. But this one was really nice low pitch. It got super loud to the point where it probably would have been not hearing safe for very long uh, if it ran on its own. Um, I did try extending the tube out, the exhaust, to, I guess, extending the tube, um, lowers the idle speed, and shortening it increases it, um, sorry, uh, tired and my nose is, like, super blocked, which is really screwing with my train of thought right now. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to get this to run on its own without a compressor. I feel like I'm kind of close, but I don't know exactly why. It won't run. And I didn't, I don't have like a, I didn't have a flared like, um, opening for the few, the intake for the air. Maybe that's why. Maybe I'm just not starting it right. Maybe it's the proportions of this. I could size this down to like quarter inch and have quarter inch tubing for the intake and the exhaust or just the exhaust and have a half inch intake. I'll probably post this somewhere just to get input on it. 
But I couldn't really see much in terms of people doing copper pipe pulse jets. And that is probably because the temperature, when they do run, gets hot enough that it'll probably just blow apart the brazing. Um, but I really like the idea of doing it. I don't have a welder, so this is... Um, well, I have a stick welder, but that's not going to work for this sort of thing. Um, I like the idea of having like a small pulse jet, sort of like the size that would run on its own. Ideally, without a... Um, without like a U-turn sort of intake in it because I don't like those. There are the other designs where like the chamber is capped off and the, the intake and the fuel comes in like at an angle in a couple spots. So I might try one of those, but um, yeah, basically that's a really long, boring intro into saying that I've been messing around trying to build a pulse jet. This first iteration... Well, sort of multi-iteration didn't work, but I'm going to keep working on it because I'd like to build a small pulse jet now. And now we'll cut to some footage, um, basically just of sort of the, sort of some iterations, some of like the test footage, and then some of it, uh, the final clip will be it actually running nicely, uh, the best result that I've gotten so far. Oh yeah, quick additional note, um that I just forgot. Uh, but basically, one of the things, people might not do these out of copper because they will overheat, maybe. So an idea I had is that you could have your intake loop around and basically, like an air-cooled machine gun, have an exterior shroud that all of your intake air comes in through. So basically, you would have, like, at the end of your exhaust pipe, you'd have, like, a, a barrier with holes all the way around it, um, and then like one size up copper tube, and that way as the engine runs, the intake air would potentially cool off the actual rest of the system, um, so that would affect how it runs, but it might pull enough air that it would actually help cool off the copper pipe and keep it running without self-destructing. Uh, just a little theory I had. Someone's probably tried it already. It probably wouldn't work well because of how sharp the ear would have to turn, but I figure it would be neat if I can try and make that work, or at least toss the idea out there to have the intake for your pulse jet to draw air in alongside the exhaust to cool it and maintain a lower temp. Of course, like if it's too low, then it won't atomize liquid fuel. Um... And engines do run better with colder intake air, but yeah, that would have to be like tested. Okay, just do that about 200 times a second. Okay, we need to turn the fuel up. That's all we have.